Miguel has 12 marbles as shown in the diagram below. Each marble is either red or blue. In addition, each marble is numbered 1 to 5. Miguel chooses one of the marbles at random. Determine the following probabilities. Enter your probabilities as fractions and simplify any fractions as needed. First we're asked what is the probability that Miguel will choose a red marble given that the marble is odd. Because we are given the marble is odd, this is called conditional probability, we can denote this probability using the notation shown here. Again, the probability a marble is red given the marble is odd. Because we are given the marble is odd, we first need to identify how many odd marbles there are. Remember, odd numbers are numbers like one, three, five, seven, and so on. Let's go ahead and box the odd marbles. We have three, five, one, three, five, three, five, 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 and three. Notice we have two even marbles, two and four. Notice how we have a total of 10 odd marbles and two even marbles. And because we are given the marble as odd, 10 is going to be the denominator of the conditional probability. So now to find the probability a marble is red, given the marble is odd, we need to determine how many of these odd marbles are also red. So of the odd marbles, notice one, two, three, four, five, six of them are red, and therefore the probability a marble is red, given it is odd, is six tenths. And six tenths does simplify because six and 10 share a common factor of two. Dividing both six and 10 by two, we have the simplified probability of three fifths. Next, what is the probability that Miguel will choose an odd marble given that the marble is red? Which again, we can denote using the notation shown here, the probability of an odd marble given the marble is red. Because we are given the marble is red, let's first box the red marbles. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven red marbles. And since we are given the marble is red, seven will be the denominator of the probability. And now to find the probability a marble is odd, given the marble is red, we now need to determine how many of the red marbles are odd. Five is odd, three is odd, five is odd, five is odd, three is odd, and three is odd. So of the red marbles, one, two, three, four, five, six of them are odd, and therefore the probability of choosing a odd marble, given the marble is red, is six sevenths. And six sevenths does not simplify. And for our last question, what is the probability that Miguel will choose a two given the marble is blue? We are given the marble is blue, let's box the blue marbles. There are one, two, three, four, five blue marbles. And since we're given the marble is blue, five will be the denominator of the probability. To find the probability a marble is a two given the marble is blue, we now need to determine how many of the blue marbles have a two. We'll notice none of the blue marbles have a two, and therefore the probability of a two, given the marble is blue, is zero fifths, which is equal to zero. Meaning it's not possible to choose a two, given the marble is blue. I hope you found this helpful.